CrossFit today. My name is Jim. I'll be leading us through a workout today that I call two by fives. Okay, it's a superset CrossFit workout. Basically, we're gonna superset two exercises and we're gonna do five sets of each of those two movements. So two exercises, five times. <laughs> Very creative, right? Two by five. Uh, we have four of these supersets, okay? So about 30 minutes, guys, only a few items if you don't have weights. If you have weights, that's great. Use them. Uh, if you don't have weights, gallon jugs work really well. I've got a couple gallon jugs off to the side. Uh, you'll also want a chair. Guys, due to my sleeve height in the video, I've got another chair over here that I'll be doing step ups on. Um, so that's why we've got a couple chairs laying around here. Uh, also, if you want more weight than what gallon jugs offer, um, I've got a backpack set up um, with some weight in there. I also have some additional weight off to the side. Uh, that I can easily put in the bag. And guys, that weight for these, in my case, it's just some dumbbells. Guys, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use, if you have old plates, um, weight plates, you can use those, you can use books, paper, anything that has a little weight on there. And again, the only purpose for that is just to get the backpack. If you wanna be challenged more, if you can handle more resistance uh, than the gallon jug provides, you can load more weight, or you can put multiple gallon jugs in the backpack, okay? So you can kind of make use of that as well. Okay, so today, uh, workouts up here. We're gonna start off, guys, with, um, I'm gonna use the backpack, guys. I'm gonna hold it in front of me. Um, similar to like a goblet squat, I guess. You know, you could say a front squat as well. So we're gonna hold the weights up here, guys, and we're gonna just, it's simple, guys. We're gonna do 10 squats. And listen, if squats are challenging for you, you can just do bodyweight squats. Resistance is good. Um, when you need it, okay, so if you want to do oh, a set or two without weight and add a little weight, that's fine. And again, gallon jugs, guys, are, are work great. You could use one or two and then progress to the backpack, all right? Then we have burpees, guys, and the burpees uh, aren't for everybody. I realize that, okay? I'll be going from the floor up. Um, no push-up, just, just the burpee. Guys, chairs work great for that, okay? So if you have a hard time getting down to the floor, guys, no problem. We're here, kick back, up. Do you do like a little jumping jack? I have to watch my height here, guys. I've got some duck work right here. So you can do like a half jumping jack, you know, with the arms out. Or, or if you don't want to jump, guys, just do a little, just do like a little, just do a, like a little squat and then back, okay? I know a lot of squats, right? So here we go, guys. 10 front or goblet squats and then 10 burpees. And we're going through it five times, minimal rest, all right? So let me grab this. I'm gonna bring this. Up, guys, I'm gonna hold it almost like I'm, I got a wrap on my hand, almost like I'm holding a kettlebell, okay? Like a goblet squat, basically. So, my goblet slash front squat, we got 10 of these guys. Here we go. We're down, keep the chest up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, trying to get close to parallel. 10, I'll set this off to the side. 10 burpees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay guys, short breaks, <laughs> first set done, here we go, we're back to this, guys again, you can just hold a gallon jug here, or two, here we go, one, two, four, Okay, set that here. Back to burpees. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, Okay, two down, three to go. This is the hump set, here we go. Okay, 10 burpees, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, take breaks, we need them, okay? If we try to keep those breaks, this stuff's gonna get you in and go again. Ten burpees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Warmed up, isn't it? All right, that was four. Let's go through again. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Alright guys, one is done, we're going to move on to our second set guys, and that's going to be, we're going to do 10 alternating lunges, set them out to the side, okay, so think of a 45 degree angle, and you're just going to stride out, 10 each leg, then we're going to go bent over rows, the bent over rows, could be just a couple gallon jugs. 
I'm gonna use a backpack real quick. A couple tips. Make sure your back stays straight as you come over so we're not rounding the back over. Back is straight and you're gonna pull towards the hips. Those are your two tips. Straight back and knee soft maybe too. Okay, so three little tips. All right. So I'm gonna add weight for my bent over rows here. So if you're using a backpack and uh, you're doing the front squats, if you have something extra, you don't have to do that. But if you have a little extra, the bent over rows are probably gonna be a little stronger on that. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of weight to this so it's ready. And guys, here we go. We're gonna go five sets of these. 45 lunges. You ready? So I'm gonna go 45 and then one, 45, two, 45, three, 45, four. A little different angle for the legs, so we're gonna independently. Okay, that was 10 guys. Let's go bend in the rows. Guys, if you're using a backpack, I'd recommend shortening your shoulder straps as short as they'll go. So it's not real long, it's gonna hit the floor. And then grab the straps low, okay? Don't grab them up high, because in the backpack hit the floor again. So we're here, and we have 15 of these. Use your legs to get up. One, two, three, Okay, I'm gonna leave it right here, guys. So we're coming right back to it, all right? 45 degree lunges. One, two, three, four. Leg goes back, arm comes forward. Five, six, Back to the end of rows. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Nine, ten. Okay. We're back to lunges, guys. Whew. Here we go. If you need a drink, grab a drink, guys. You can always hit pause if you need to. On my back. And you need to keep my pacing. If you're going fast, a little faster, using good form, that's fine. Shake those legs out. Legs are getting a little beating a little bit here. All right. Let's get those rows in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guys, get ready to start round number four here. All right. Here we go. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Whoo. Bent over rows. One more set, and we're moving on. All right, here we go. One. As the leg goes back, same side of the arm comes forward. Two. Three. Four. Try to use that front leg, drive up each time. Last set of bending rows here. One, two, three. All right, guys. So that concluded our second superset. All right, so now we're moving on. I'll throw it up here for you guys. We have, we have step ups. I'll show you that in a second here. Let me adjust this weight real quick. Uh, we won't need this much weight for anything else. So I'm gonna take out that additional weight that I had for my rows. And now I'm back to the little bit lighter weight that I'll use in our last circuit for curl overhead press. Okay, so that's ready now, all right? Guys, in this next set, I have a chair set up and it's on this side. I have a little more space with the ceiling here as opposed to here where it's really low. So I kind of move the chair here. Guys, listen, you don't have to do a riser with this, okay? If you have a shorter step, you can use that. You can use stairs, okay? Or you could just stay in place, guys, and even do like a little high knee so you could come back and just drive that knee up and come back. So you're just using the floor. So you've got a couple options here, okay? So I will guess I'll use the chair option initially here. So we'll start with that. And then guys, we're going right to push-ups, okay? So again, you can use the floor with those. You can push your feet up if you wanted to, okay? So a wide variety. So you can go from your knees, you can go from your toes on the floor. If you want something a little less challenging, maybe you have bad shoulders like I do, and you want to use a chair with your hands, feet down. It just takes a little load off the shoulders, okay? Or you can flip around and put your feet up. So several options here, right? Hey, let's get started here, guys. So get a quick drink, and we're gonna go to what I call step ups. They could be on the floor, like I mentioned. Okay. So we're here, guys. If you're using a chair, just make sure it's solid, okay? Also, make sure your standing height is up here. You're not going to hit your head as you step up if you're in a lower level or something, okay? <clears throat> All right. Ten each leg, guys. Here we go. Drive up. One. Try to push with that front leg. Two. Three. Four. Five. And again, use the arms. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, knee around the midfoot, 
Good. Don't let that knee go forward or back. Okay. So that was 10 with that leg, guys. I'm going to switch them up. And go up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Guys, we're gonna go push ups. Ten of these. And you can use the same chair. I'm just moving around for the video here. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, that was ten. We're right back here, guys. Legs. Remember, we're trying to focus on the front leg, not throw off the back. Okay? So we're here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Push-ups. <clears throat> hey, make sure your chair on these push-ups is anchored against the wall or something that's not going to slide around. Again. Whew. All right, but you're in a good place. I'm up. One, two, three. Just a light touch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we'll switch those legs up. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push-ups again. One, two. Hey, that's step ups round four here, guys. Okay. 
push-ups. Okay, guys, last set. Probably the super circuit, for the super set. All right, here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, hey guys, that's our third one done. All right, let me get a drink here. Last superset coming up here, okay? We have a low plank and reach, and then curl overhead press, all right? And the curl overhead press guys could just be gallon jugs. I'm gonna use a backpack again, but you don't have to. Gallon jugs work great, okay? Even canned goods, all right? Guys, these low plank and reaches, I'm gonna say eight to ten. Right? They're they're a challenge. And listen, if you have a hard time reaching from the low plank position, I'll show you in a minute. Maybe just hold the plank. Okay? Maybe have a little timer by you. Try to hold it for anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Build yourself up. Get stronger at those. I mean, get to the point where maybe you can start to do those reaches. Right? So, guys, here we go. Eight to ten with each arm. Keep the hips as square to the floor as you can. They're gonna want to. They're gonna want to open up. You know when you when you reach, they want to open. So try to keep those square. All right. Here we go. So look down here. Get a low plank. Make sure the arms are giving you good support. Keep the hips square and reach for that wall. One. Two. Three. Guys, you have curl overhead press. I think with the straps this time, I'm gonna go underneath the straps, like this, guys. 10 curl overhead presses. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, back to low plank reaches.
Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey guys, I have those milk jugs in front of me. I'm kind of like reaching for them. They're just out of reach, but I'm trying to get a, a nice stretch. Might be something to have a little, something in front of you, or the wall or something. Here we go. So we're down. Reach. One. Reach. Two. Reach. Three. again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think that was three. Here we go for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last round, guys. Number five. For your curl or your presses, guys. Ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we'll set this down. Whew. Guys, I don't know if you can see it. I worked up quite the uh, lather here. So we got a little sweat going, which is always good, right? So that was our CrossFit workout, guys. Just a simple kind of superset, five sets, a little grueling, all right? Four circuits of those. Listen, I hope you had a great workout. Guys, this is Elite Fitness. We're bringing wellness to you. 
and we'll see you guys next time.